Welcome to Common Sense. I'm your host, Laura Fong, and today Argos Funeral Services is helping us with the afterlife. They do burials on land, at sea, and on the moon. That's right, Argos can take your ashes into space. But no matter what option you choose, they're here for you and your family in this time of need. Well, let's launch right into this episode. Every time that you look at the moon, you'll always see your loved one on the moon. Argos Funeral Services is taking burials to a new frontier. One fire. Missile away. You don't think about it until it happens. You know, or someone around you that passes away, you don't think about that. But uh, it's important to do your soul searching. Death is a part of life, and it can be very difficult to deal with emotionally as well as setting up funeral arrangements. The founders of Argos, Judah Ben-Hur and Sean Lavalur Adami, are here to help. We're not in it for the money. I want to be able to serve my community. Argos Funeral Services is an innovative and unique mortuary that's family owned and operated. They can arrange everything from traditional cremations and casket burials to burials at sea and even space and lunar memorial flights. A lot of people are shocked that it's an option and then they seem inquisitive afterwards and then they become very interested in it. Argos works with Celestis Inc. to offer memorial launches. Celestis is a pioneer in the industry. They sent their very first private cremation memorial space flight in 1997, and they are the only company to have successfully completed memorial space missions. 100, 200 years from now, people will look back and say, wow, Argos was one of the first funeral homes in the history of the state of California and the United States to actually successfully do something like this. So history has been made in Torrance. As Celestis says, from the stars we were born and to the stars we will return. And there are several options to choose from. We have an Earthrise service, which is space flight with return to Earth. Or the Earth Orbit Service, a real space mission. The Celestis spacecraft joins the Earth's orbit and stays there until it re-enters the atmosphere, vaporizing like a shooting star as a final tribute. Then we have shooting you straight into space. So if you're a Star Trek fan or Star Wars, you, maybe you'll get picked up by the Borg or something with your genetic DNA on the cremains. That's the Voyager service option. You send your loved one out into deep space and you forever go out into wherever it ends. And finally, the moon, Earth's closest neighbor. For this one, there are two options. A symbolic portion of your loved one's ashes can go around the moon or be buried on the moon. We have a rocket that goes to the moon, it lands on the moon, and then there's a rover that will retrieve the remains from the rocket and then actually insert you into the soil on the moon. Argos already has someone signed up. That loved one's ashes are set to reach the surface of the moon in the fourth quarter of 2017. We were able to file with the disposition being memorial space flight to the surface of the Earth's moon. So that's officially on a death certificate for our loved one. It was a first for the health department that I filed through, as well as for the people up at the Sacramento office. As you can see, Argos is boldly going where no other funeral service provider in California is going. The moon is not the final frontier. It is a frontier, and it's an undiscovered frontier for us to use. This episode is just taking off. When we come back, we're gonna learn more about the founders of Argos. You may have noticed they're a little bit like yin and yang. Dancing to me, I think it's the truest form of expression. I was a dancer since I was four years old. I was tripping and I was falling and I didn't even know what multiple sclerosis was. With the 360 camera, it gives the chance for someone to see what I see, experience what I experience. Have a surprise. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Here we go. Oh my god. I dream sometimes and I see that. I like the way your arms hand. <laughs> I 
we kind of balance each other. I'm a little shyer than he is, so he helps bring me out of my shell and I help subdue him sometimes when necessary. She is completely opposite from myself. Sean is more quiet, reserved, conservative, and I'm more a little bit more gregarious, more animated. Judah and Sean opened Argos Funeral Services on Hawthorne Boulevard in October 2015. They each have more than 10 years of experience in the death care industry. Argos started uh, out of the need of the people that we needed to put together a, a funeral service that provides options for people, honest options, options where we're not selling them at an affordable price so the rich and the poor can both afford the services. Argos has created a paradigm shift in funeral planning. Their focus is on personal connections, not just selling services to make a profit. It all started back when Judah was a removal driver. I felt what was missing was the genuine empathy, the genuine compassion when a person dies, because if we are there for business, that's then projected. If we're there because we want to be there, that's projected. So I was, I was there because I wanted to be there, to take their loved one uh, under my care. Judah and Sean worked together for many years before they started Argos Funeral Services. Back in the day, Judah's company did removals for the mortuary Sean used to work at. We discussed doing these types of services ourselves uh, to cut out the high costs that families have to incur in this time. Integrity and honesty are at the heart of Argos Funeral Services, which is why they pride themselves on affordable services with no hidden fees and no gimmicks. The ones that come in and say that they don't have enough money to pay for it, when they come in and tell me that, what we'll always do is we will work with them so that we can satisfy the needs of that family. Argos tries to create a healing experience for families, which is why they're always available during this time of need. I offer my personal number for them to call or text me or email me at any time because I'm, that's what I'm here for, is to offer those answers for those questions that you may think are strange or unusual. They're not. Everyone has questions. Argos offers the best service possible because they don't advertise. Instead, they rely on word-of-mouth referrals. It's all through hard work. It's just through, if I take care of someone in your home, you'll say, you know, Judah was great. The whole Argos experience was great. So I'm going to recommend him to someone else. It takes longer to get where we're going, but we still keep going. This dedication to servicing the community's funeral needs is rooted in their company's name. The name Argos is from a uh, Greek city, and the reason why I picked it is because of the longevity of the people. Every time the city of Argos was taken over by opposing forces, the people never abandoned the city. So thus, with that in mind, we will not abandon our customers or the people that we serve in the community. While Judah and Sean have different personalities, they're very much alike in that they're passionate about their work. To be able to have a family come to you and say that you made this most difficult time so much easier really is the reason why I do this. There's a lot more to Argos. When we come back, we'll learn about alternatives to traditional cremation and burials. My name is Carly. I'm 15 years old and I am a heart recipient. I got my first heart transplant when I was one and a half years old. I got my second heart when I was 13. When I step out on stage, I think I'm communicating with people. I would like to tell them that I want to make a change in life. Like, yeah, you can have two heart transplants, but that doesn't stop you from doing the things that you love. When I get my driver's license, of course I'm going to say yes to be an organ donor because I've been saved twice. So who says I can't save somebody else? It's just the beginning of a new story. This gift of life was made possible by an organ donor. Imagine what you could make possible. Learn more and sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. More people are realizing that there's other options other than just the traditional burial or traditional cremation. Argos Funeral Services is a small company doing big things. We talked about their space and lunar memorial flights, but they have plenty of earthbound options too. We offer full body burial at sea, and that's where the body is wrapped in a shroud. We then put you on a vessel. We go out three miles off the coast of California, and we then bury their loved one uh, in around 600 to 700 feet of water with a beautiful service with people on board. For these ceremonies, Argos works with New England Burials at Sea. They can also plan a memorial service where your loved ones scatter your ashes at sea. You 
can have your ashes put at the summit of a, a volcano in Hawaii. You can have your ashes shot out in fireworks. We're working on a Viking style burial at sea that hopefully we'll be launching next year as well. Plus, Argos has urns in all shapes, sizes, and materials, including ones designed for children who've passed away. We have biodegradable urns that you can place in the ocean. The whole urn will dissolve into the water. The same thing for land. Or we have a bio urn that's a tree pod where your loved one's remains would be placed in the urn. You plant that in the ground and then over many years a tree will grow. There are also more personal options like a locket filled with ashes or other cremation jewelry. Argos works with Huntington Beach Base close by me for some of these keepsakes. I don't really think that people understand what a what a funeral home, mortuary, crematory, what that is. We just say, oh, you die, we go to a funeral home. That's it. We don't do our due diligence. Judah suggests doing your research when it comes to funeral homes and arrangements, and since there are so many options to choose from, Argos Funeral Services suggests doing pre-arrangements. I would recommend that for everyone. If you're okay with discussing it and you're ready to discuss it, I would pre-need as soon as possible. Just that way you get a good price, you lock it in, and then it's peace of mind. So you know that when the time comes, your family doesn't have to worry about that. Argos works with Homesteaders, a life insurance company, to help families set up a policy to handle payments. That's because Argos doesn't touch any of the money until the event has actually happened. The policies that we invest with them are secure. If something were to happen to us or someone were to decide to move out of the area and want to transfer their policy, it's, it's completely 100% transferable. While Argos Funeral Services can help families as north as Ventura and as south as San Diego, Torrance has been the perfect place to open up. It's wonderful being here in Torrance. The Torrance Chamber of Commerce has been very welcoming. The community has been very receptive. Argos is changing the funeral industry, from offering the lowest price for cremation services in Southern California to taking burials to a new frontier. But it wasn't always easy for Argos to go against the grain. You were saying when you first started, people laughed at you. You know, yes. how did you overcome that and say, we're still, we're doing this, we we'll get bigger? By not paying any attention to the people. You know, people are always going to laugh at things that they don't understand or they're afraid of. Thank you so much to Argos Funeral Services for welcoming us into your office and exploring the many options for the afterlife, including, of course, the Space and Lunar Memorial flights. If you want to learn more about Argos, head to their website, argosfuneralservices.com, or give them a call at 323-302-5709. And the next time you're on Facebook, head to our page, Common Sense Torrance, where we're keeping up with all the news in the business community, and you can get a behind-the-scenes look at the show. It's not always easy to talk about, but there are options out there. You can do an urn, and of course there's outer space. For now, I just want to thank you so much for watching Common Sense, where we offer you a rare, behind-the-scenes look at local businesses and explore the secrets to their success.